Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Feature Friday. We've got a beautiful day and I've got an awesome camper to show you. It's something you guys haven't seen before on our Facebook page because we just got these in. We actually have three Trail Runner travel trailers in. I'm gonna take you for a tour of the 30RBK. I know the R and the B stand for rear bunk and it's got a really cool rear bunk. We'll get to that in a minute. Let me show you some things on the outside. You do have a power tongue jack. Behind the black box is your propane tanks, of course. Pass-through storage. You got plenty of room in there for tables, chairs, kids, whatever you want to put in there. You've got a large powered awning that I would say covers 95% of the camper, wouldn't you agree? Mm -hmm. yeah, she's shaking her head yes, so yeah, I agree. Uh, outside speakers, so you can jam out while you're sitting around the campfire. You do have a electric stabilizer jacks, making that super easy. Just push a button and you're good. Outside power outlet. These are nice. If you set a little table up out here, you can run some power for your margarita machine, your ice maker, whatever you want. You also have an outside kitchen in this one. A lot of rear bunk campers uh, feature outside kitchens. This is no exception. So you've got a refrigerator here that I think it's locked. Nope, nope, it's not locked. So you got a nice size little refrigerator there, keep cold beverages. One of the great things about outside kitchen is cutting down on your foot traffic running in and out of your camper during the day, especially if you have kids, which you probably do if you have a bunk camper. You know, they're running around, they're dirty, they're sweaty, they want something to drink. It's just right here. You do have a cooktop out here as well, so you can cook while enjoying company from outside, or if you're cooking something really smelly, you could cook it out here. Uh, storage area for condiments, whatever you want. Back here on the back, we have our spare tire. It is backup camera prepped. And I always say backup camera, I should call it observation camera, because not only does it serve as a backup camera, but you can actually turn that on to check your environment behind you, which can help you when you're changing lanes at a busy road, or you can see if some jerk is tailgating you. Uh, that's kind of basically it on the outside. Let's go jump in and look at the inside. Okay, so we're standing inside now. Um, a few of the things that come to mind, actually, I just walked into this unit myself a few minutes ago. I love that it's very light, it's very bright. As you're gonna see, they've done a really good job of mixing your light colors with your dark surfaces. And you'll see throughout as we're looking around, you'll have dark areas and light areas. So I think they've done a really good job with that, including the furniture, which we'll get to in a minute. I wanna focus on the kitchen area. So you've got a large L-shaped kitchen area with your 50-50 stainless steel sinks. You've got plenty of room to do dishes. You've got a lot of countertop prep space, three burner stove. You have storage up above as well as down below and on the side there. I don't know what you put on the side, spices, DVDs, whatever. Stainless steel microwave, stainless steel refrigerator. It's actually a very, very nice size. So you're not gonna have an issue if you're going camping for a week. You pack plenty of groceries in there. You do have some additional storage here on the side for dried goods, whatever. Coming back, we'll take a look at the bathroom. I love the bathroom, and this is another example of what I'm talking about with them balancing the light and the dark colors. They went with a darker countertop. They went with a darker shower curtain, which you could replace yourself if you wanted. But, of course, you've got all the important things in your bathroom. You've got a toilet. You've got a tub-shower combo. The tub, I have never tested one. I don't know if an adult could fit in there. It would be entertaining to see. But those are great if you have children or pets medicine cabinet, and you even have a place to hang your towels to let them dry. One thing that we get asked a lot of, Greer can attest to this, is where's the toilet paper holder? If campers don't have one, sure you could mount one. I would keep my toilet paper right there. But what my wife and I did on one of our campers that we had is we just got one of those freestanding toilet paper roll holders and we just stuck it next to the toilet, so that worked perfect. Now I want to show you the bunk room because this bunk room really stands out to me. Uh, Greer and I both talk. We love it, don't we, Greer? Mm -hmm. So check this out. Talk about a cool space for the kiddos or, honestly, you could have adult friends that come over here and stay. You've got a bunk up here. You've got a bunk down here. You've got this really, really cute uh, dinette booth 
system for them. Talk about like them feeling adult back here, you know? And then they've got a window. They've got a place to set a TV as well as video game system or anything they want to do there, including storage down below, storage up above. And then they even have some additional storage right as they're coming into the bunk. So this is a cool little space for the kiddos. Or like I said, if you have adult friends that want to stay all night, there's no reason they can't stay back here. So now I also want to show you the massive U-shaped dinette. This will also turn into a bed. So you're going to see in the bedroom, we're going to sleep a couple adults there. We can sleep two or three people back here in the bunk room. We could sleep a couple of people here in this big U-shaped dinette. And earlier when I was talking about, like, I like how they've balanced the furniture. So this has got that light grays. It's got some darker colors in it. They've done a really nice job with, like, accent lights that, those are just really, really cool. We've got a creaky door back there, Gerd. You also have your jackknife sofa. So that's going to sleep a couple more people, but it's also a nice cozy area to sit. You'll notice that the carpet in here isn't really truly carpet. It's that more like indoor outdoor rug style. Um, I just got back from a trip to Gulf Shores with my two dogs. I can attest that this stuff is super easy to clean uh, if the dogs make a mess on it or if you spill something and it doesn't hold the dog hair, like it's super easy to sweep up and clean. Directly to Greer's right is where your entertainment system would go. So you can imagine you can put a massive TV here if you want. A massive TV. Run your cords down through here. You can have your video game systems or whatever you want here. DVD players. Or you, you have, no, you don't have a DVD player. Sorry. You can put your DVD player here. You can do whatever you want. Lots of cabinet space down below for movies, board games, blankets, whatever you want down there. And then last but not least, what's behind this door, Miss Greer? Bedroom. The bedroom. So the bedroom, really, really nice. You've got your queen size bed. This does have storage under it. As you can see, you have plenty of space on both sides of the bed. So it's easy to make the bed and get around the bed. On either side, you have nightstands and they have wireless charging ports, which is pretty, pretty cool. Both sides also have the his and hers closets, or if you like me, in my case, it's the hers and hers closet, always. And I have no idea what this is. What is this? Oh, so you can hide stuff in there on each side. That's kind of cool, Greer, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Like, I'd hide my chips and stuff in there so my wife couldn't get to it. You also have regular power on both sides that you can reach through there and get. And you have a TV backer here, so you can actually have a TV back here in the bedroom. So you can close yourself off for a little privacy at the end of the day to relax. The kids can be back there playing with their door closed. Everybody just continuing to chill, relax, and unwind, right? So guys, there you have it. There's another Feature Friday. We appreciate you watching. We'll get to these other trail runners probably next week. Uh, maybe just during the week, not our walkthrough Wednesday or Feature Friday. As always, if you have any questions or we left anything out you want more information on, be sure to leave a comment down below and we'll be happy to help. Happy Friday, everyone, and I hope everyone has a great weekend.